546, and now it's time for Talking with Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQAM studios this morning. Joe, so good to see your face. It's been a while since we last spoke. And Thank you. Boy, it has. We have, we have it a lot has. to catch up on, and unfortunately, not exactly good news in terms of the Dolphins. You've been away because you were with the team, so we haven't discussed this latest Dolphins debacle, debacle from 3-0 and to 4-4. and It seems so promising at the beginning of the season, Joe. And now just back to the usual Dolphins mediocrity, I hate to say it. So do you see Coach Adam Gase making any changes oh, no. within the staff or any other changes in the near future? Well, in the near future is an interesting one, Lauren, because uh, it's one thing to be four and four. It's another the way they played, especially the last three games defensively. 200 yards per game on the ground they're giving up, scoring, giving up 34 points a game. Uh, it's been a lot of ugly numbers. Nobody, for the most part, is playing that well, and they're getting blown out. And, and because of that, uh, especially these collapses, they were in the game in the first half, and if you just look at it at the end, uh, it, it just looks slow defensively. They look lost. So it's something to watch. I think it's a big, big week for some of the coaches on the defensive side of the ball. It can't continue to be this bad and look as ugly as it has, especially mm -hmm. the last two games. So I am really curious to see. I know they tried on their few extra days to put it all back together, but you got to get competitive. You just can't get blown out the way they have. The Detroit game at home was ugly, and going to, to play the Texans got uglier on national TV. So bad couple of weeks, especially for the Dolphin defense. All right, Joe, and today, trade deadline day. Do you see the Dolphins making any moves at this Ooh. point as far as a trade is concerned? Um, I know a lot of people are calling for him, but even if they've got to get rid of some of their young quality players, um, I don't think they're going to do anything, oh, and if they do, it won't be anything big. They do need another defensive tackle. Uh, they're nicked up with one of their young players. I think they got to get more depth. I think part of the problem is they got guys that are wiped out playing too much. The rotation's gotten smaller. They need to either go find a veteran guy or they need to trade today for a defensive tackle that mm -hmm. they can afford. I think that's something, if there is a move made, that would be the position because you've got to be able to stop the run. You can't let people run through you for 200 yards a game. It's ridiculous. All right, Joe, we'll be keeping a close eye on whatever moves they make. And, of course, I'm sure we'll be talking about that tomorrow. It. But we are going to talk in the next hour as well. So stick around. We will see you soon. Hey. Lord, I got to tell you something crazy. We don't ever uh -oh. get to tell the inside stuff. Yesterday, <laughs> I'm getting ready to go, and my guys go to hook everything up in the other room. Somebody stole the phone. Yeah, the right. phone was gone. The connected TV they and radio. Thought, Who needs there was a landline here. anymore, right? We're just going to take the landline out of Joe's studio. He doesn't need that thing. That's we right. It, <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> I needed my Lauren fix. All I needed right. a Lauren fix and I didn't get it. Well, glad we Thank are you. reunited once go. again. They're and at the phone screaming is back. at me. Get back on the radio. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Thank Bye, you. Joe.